my precious yarn of ease. How are you today? It's been a bit of a hot minute since I've seen you. <laughs> oh man, it's been um, very busy, as you can probably understand. Um, we are amping up to getting married um, this week. And I've been working like crazy. I, I've been pulling 12-hour shifts. Crazy, I know. Dumb? Probably. I'm pretty sore today, so I decided to take the day off and uh, try and relax a little bit, which isn't easy for me right now. Um, my brain is just absolutely in overload uh, with everything that I need to get done. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, what else has been happening? Um, hmm. <laughs> I see my brain's just like, whoop, ah, on vacation. I haven't had a whole lot of time to crochet. Uh, although I have been trying to get the movie marquee, um, project you know going uh so i've been working on that and i've been working on this that's i'm thinking is whoops is going to be um another kind of cover up i guess or a, a, a shirt okay sorry guys i can't i can't think right now so anyways um uh, can you see the stitches? Yeah, you can. So there's that. Um, I just, this was kind of like a palette cleanser, I guess it is, to kind of give me a break from reality for a little while, <laughs> for a bit. Um, yeah, so... Uh, the yarn I'm using for this is, and I don't think you can get this anymore, but it's the Coastal Cotton. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't get it anymore. Uh, and this color is purple. <laughs> and then this one is Coastal Cotton, and the color is Indigo. I always thought Indigo was more purple purple but it's not I guess it's blue so I thought those two colors would go nice together and considering that the only two coastal cottons that I have so <laughs> why not <laughs> um yeah so anyways yeah I'm so I'm working on that uh a little bit I'm trying to keep my mind off of the fact that Sandy Doodah is supposed to be here and couple days but she's not coming you know because crap happened and yeah trying really hard not to be depressed about that uh and also the fact that my my kitty bella has gone over the rainbow bridge um i've had a i had a really couple of really hard days after that and uh bella bailey what are you doing um, so I kind of just needed to disconnect a little bit. Um, and I wanted to say thank you so, so much for all of your well wishes for, you know, for my kitty Bella and for the wedding. Bailey is all over the place here. Um, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Uh, and for giving us well wishes for the wedding. Um, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Um, so George has been working like crazy as well. And um, we're both pretty tired and pretty sore. <laughs> so he's going to be taking uh, Thursday off this week to help me. Um, it's... I'm looking outside and I'm just so disappointed. It's supposed to rain on our wedding day. 
it's supposed to rain for most of this week. So we may end up getting married in our living room, which really is a bummer, but that's okay. I'm going to um, get the tent or the canopy put outside on the deck just in case. Uh, and then I'm also going to do up the, do, do the living room mantle, the fireplace mantle up and, um, and get that prepared, which means I have to get rid of all of my yarn that's sitting beside my chair. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> Guess we're going to figure that one out. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what we've been doing. Um, what else? Uh, Health-wise, people have been asking me, you know, how it's going with my Ozempa shots. Ozempa? Ozempic? Oh, whatever it's called. Uh, this uh, Saturday was my third dose. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm tired of this nausea, though. Oh, geez. It's like, my body is now telling me when I need to eat. So, cause I, I go all day without eating. Like I just have no want to eat. So I go all day without eating and then I eat dinner and then I'm munchy at night. So, uh, I now am getting waves of nausea all day long. And I'm like, it's like I'm pregnant again. It's horrible. Uh, I'm getting cramps, like stomach cramps, which is kind of weird. But they're not horrendous. Um, and what else am I getting? Headaches. I've got headaches. Yeah. That sucks. So... Um, other than that, I think I'm doing okay. I haven't lost any weight. In fact, I think I've gained. So I'm between 200 and 203. I actually went to 206 and freaked right out. But that I think that was because I ate something I probably shouldn't have the night before. And I hadn't got it all out yet. So uh, I'm just going to forget about that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I'm having a little bit of trouble going to the bathroom, but it's not totally bad. I'm I'm actually, I'm welcoming that because I was having the opposite problem before I started the medication. So I think it's all evened out, <laughs> I think. Uh, so yeah, um, so I'm waiting on, let's see, we're getting married on the 14th. My birthday's on the 15th. I got to go see the doctor on the 16th, uh, and then we're going to talk about it. So, uh, I don't know if he's going to up my dose, um, probably. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Cause I have not budged in weight. And, but then again, I've been a really bad girl. Uh, this week has been very stressful for me. So I'm maybe not eating the stuff I should have. Uh, we've been eating a lot out a lot, like, um, having <laughs> funny George works for DoorDash and I work for skip the dishes. So we've actually been ordering from them to bring food in for us <laughs> because when we get home, it's like, we do not want to, I don't want to cook. And so that's been bad, <laughs> but I've been trying really hard to kind of eat stuff that's not like burgers and french fries and stuff <laughs> but when i'm out on the road uh it's it's a little difficult so i went i go to subway and get a sub or something i don't eat bread i i don't eat bread unless you put a piece of sourdough in front of me and then i'll bite your arm off but um i don't normally eat bread so for me to eat a sub Ooh, it sits in my stomach like crazy, but it's one of those things where it's like quick, get in there, get a sub, go out, keep working. 
Um, so I have to really be careful about that kind of stuff. I do notice though that when I'm eating, I feel nauseous afterwards, like just for a little bit because my blood sugar is going boop, 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 boop. So, um, yeah, it's like, oh God, it does. It feels like I'm pregnant again. It's like just constant. So, yeah, that part of it I don't like. <laughs> so, colored my hair. Ooh. Mailman's here. Colored my hair, got that done. Uh, I bought a curling iron for my hair for the wedding. It doesn't, it's not working. This is what it does. It's just big curl. That's it. So I wanted like curls, right? Bailey, okay, enough. Um, so I'm, I might have to go buy another curling iron. So I, I was going to go get my hair done by um, somebody at a salon, but then I couldn't get anywhere to let me in. And so I asked my daughter Tia if she would do my hair and she says, oh, I can try. So, um, so I'm hoping that it's all going to work out. I'm not going to do like big, a big change, right? I'm just going to kind of put this up and have curls and whatever, right? Like just put a thing in my hair. It's like, no big deal. I got George and mine's outfits. Um, a little concerned. <laughs> I'm a little concerned with mine. Uh, I'm not wearing a dress. I'm wearing a pantsuit. And my sister came and helped me pick something out. And we went to Coombs. And the pantsuit's nice. But I feel like I look like Mrs. Roper from Three's Company. <laughs> Remember that show? I just, I don't know. It's very 80s-esque, I think. Um, there's shoulder pads in it, and it's a three-piece kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm hoping it's going to be okay. It's not like this is my first wedding. This is my third go around. So it is what it is. It's like, okay, but it is silk. Um, and it cost me a stupid amount of money. <laughs> like I was not expecting to spend that much money on an, on a suit. Um, yeah, George's shirt that I got him was like $60 beautiful with a dragon on it and it's like it's really nice mine was like 400 I'm like for a freaking suit like are you kidding me <laughs> I was I was shocked and I was appalled and I was like okay but it's silk right okay <laughs> I'm trying to you know I, I was just like, oh, good Lord. So, and it's, it's, I don't know if I'm ever going to wear it again. Um, you can take the different pieces, like, and wear it with something else. But George and I never go anywhere. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and just like, I was so exasperated because I, oh my God, we went bra shopping, bra and underwear shopping. And that was a fiasco. Holy mother. Um, I, my, mm, <laughs> I am way bigger than I thought I was. I used to be a 38 double D. I'm, I'm now like an H. Like, what is an H? Like, what is an H? I said to George, I says, who wears an H? What is an H? <laughs> and he says, that's called hella huge. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's hella huge <laughs> like oh my god and it's even like it still kind of hurts like I'm not used to wearing a bra anymore I wear sports bras and stuff because comfort creature of comfort right um so putting this on it's like a freaking straight jacket uh so yeah it's it's going to be torturous wearing this thing for a couple few hours um, during the wedding day. 
but um yeah and then the outfit that i got the lady oh the lady was insane she was she's a little asian lady and she was a spitfire and she <laughs> She used to be a designer in like um, Japan and LA and all this stuff. So she worked with models and all that. And she, she had us spinning. She's like grabs us, literally pushes us into a change room and says, you don't tell me what you wear. I'll tell you what you wear. And she was throwing clothes at me and saying, put this on, put that on. She, I came out of the change room. She's spinning me around. <laughs> she's tucking in. She's pulling, putting things around me and fluffing up. And, and she's like, there. <laughs> I'm like, what just happened? And I was like, okay. And she's like, and you can change it with this and that and this. And she's like, just, she's spinning and she grabs my, I had a little ponytail thing in my hair. She pulls this out of my hair and she whips my hair up and puts a comb in. And she's like, voila. <laughs> I'm going, I'm looking at my sister going, what's happening? And she's like, I, that woman, <laughs> she, she did it to my sister too. My sister's got balance issues. So. <laughs> Um, but she's, oh my God, it was, she, it was funny. This woman did know what she was talking about though. She, she was, you know, cause you know, with models when they're out on the, on the catwalk and stuff, it's like they're in the back and they're spinning. They just go like this and they're being dressed. Right. And that's what she did to us in, in fast motion. And I had no idea what happened. My sister, she put a pair of pants and a shirt on my sister with a little pin thing. And it, you know, it looked fantastic. So by the time she was finished with us, we were walking out of there like $800 out of our pocket, just boom. And outside kind of looking at each other, shaking our head. We were exhausted afterwards. <laughs> it happened so fast and we were just absolutely spent. We needed a nap. It was uh, energy vampire, maybe. Like, uh, it was insane. We drove all the way home almost in silence, laughing, but in silence because we just we didn't know what was happening. <laughs> so we were like, okay, so in within minutes, we had an outfit, we were out the door, we we're broke, and we we're absolutely exhausted. <laughs> Good saleswoman. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And you know what, she was good for our self esteem. She really was because by the time I finished with my bra incident, the bra I wanted, I couldn't get. So I ended up having to get this other bra and being as large as I am, I guess, my self-esteem went in the toilet. I was in a bad mood. Um, I was just like, what has happened to me? Where, when did I get to this point? Um, and so when she got finished with us, she made us feel like a million bucks and she was, she was great. So I, I was just like, okay. And she has a lot of clothes there that I would love, but, uh, it was, it's like a boutique -y kind of thing. Right. So yeah, so that happened. So yeah, it's, it's been a bit of a week. It's been a bit of a week and I, oh, good Lord. Look at this, you guys. Oops, hang on. Bailey. She's got her stuffing out of her toy and it's everywhere. She's ripped apart her toy. Give me that. Give me that. That's not good for you to eat. Look at this. What a mess. What a mess. 
Oh. Bailey has, I don't think Bailey has quite figured out that Bella's not here anymore. I don't really think she cares. <laughs> um, but she's kind of acting out a little bit, as you can see. But, uh, I, yeah. Yeah, she's not... Um, I, I haven't gotten rid of Bella's stuff yet. I just got rid of her litter box. <sighs> um, her cat tower is still here with her food on it. Yeah, having a hard time with that. But anyway. Um, yeah, <laughs> we just won't talk about that right now. So anyways, yeah, so that's kind of how our week has been going. Um, oh, and then George did a carpet trails video and I accidentally deleted it. He's not happy with me. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't think, you know, <laughs> anyway, I guess I better go and clean up that mess. And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, um, I put a few more pairs. Oh, thank you so much for the people that have bought my earrings, my bird nest earrings. Um, I have made a few more sets and I've got, uh, begin end of May, hopefully, uh, I should have a shipment of gemstones and stuff coming in, but I, I put these ones up, oops, I put these ones up and they sold right away. Thank you, Kimmy. Um, so I had to make another couple pairs. Uh, can you see those? Yeah. Um, so those ones are for sale still. Uh, these ones are gold stone. Okay. And those are for sale. These ones are purple gold stone. I hope you can see the sparkle in these. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get a good picture of these. Um, but yeah, there you can see. Those are purple gold stone. And these ones are lava rock. Okay. Now with these ones, you can put essential oils on them. So for people that cannot wear essential oils on their skin, you can put the essential oil on here. And because they're here, you can still get the sensory for the uh, essential oils. Um, and you still get the benefit of the essential oils without it being on your skin. So there you go. So those are the new ones. Uh, I think that's all the new ones that I have so far. But like I say, um, if there's any that you saw before on my Etsy page that you don't see now that say sold, I, I think I fixed it. But um, just contact me and uh, I can get them out to you right away. Um, I am sending them through the mail, like um, just the post mail. So it may take a little bit longer. Please, if you have bought earrings from me, please email me or message me and let me know that you got them because I am not tracking them. All right. Uh, <clears throat> it costs way too much to track a package like that. So uh, it's like $5 extra at least to, to track a package. It's ridiculous. So please let me know that, I, that you got them. And uh, yeah. So thank you so much, you guys. Um, I guess the next time you hear from me will be... Um, just after the wedding.
well, sort of wedding. <laughs> it's not, I'm not walking out to the wedding march or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, but I am going to be filming it. So don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, hopefully all goes well. Tia is going to be my camera person and, um, hopefully everything goes all tickety boo. Okay. So I love you all and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, next time you see me, I won't be Sandy Clark anymore. I'll be Sandy Hinchliff. <laughs> okay. Bye.